Hey everyone, this is just a really quick video. If you're having troubles getting the updated Polestar app to open up on your iPhone, hopefully it's a really simple fix to get this working for you. Okay, so I wanna thank Dennis Durkey. Sorry if I got your name slightly wrong for mentioning this. Uh, on the official Polestar community Facebook page. Hardly anyone else seems to have spotted it and still lots of people asking uh, about how to kind of get this sorted. So Polestar say they are working on it. However, there seems to be this little odd fix that worked for me and seems to work for a few other people. So I thought I'd share it here. So the issue is as part of the recent update that's been pushed out to everyone's car eventually, um, you now have the ability to have the digital key to be able to open the car with the phone as well as control, aircon and other stuff. I'm still waiting for my OTA update, but I did go ahead and update the app in preparation. However, then the app would open, but as soon as I logged in, it would just crash. And obviously you need it to be logged in and working to be able to try and use it. So post, I'll say that they know that this issue has been happening. You'll see on the corner here, I've been showing you what happens um, on my phone. But basically, fixing it seems to actually be really super simple. It's some issue with uh, the clock format. So I have mine in 12 hour clock, so AM, PM. If you're going to the settings, change it to 24 hour clock, then open up the app again. And then this time it allowed me to go all the way in and worked without crashing, close the app down, change back to AM to PM, open up again, and now everything is working as it should. So super duper easy and straightforward, but again, easy when you know how. So I hope this video helped. Please consider liking it, be really appreciated. Helps YouTube know more people, know more people, tell more people about this video and the channel. Please consider subscribing, hitting the notification icon, and of course, leave any comments and feedback uh, in the comment section below. And uh, I'll keep in touch. But that's it for now. Take care of yourself and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.